Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Self Made. Today we're talking QNT, the quant network. First, let's check the price on the charts today. Okay, so QNT is actually moving up. It's been moving up for the past day. We're sitting at $115. So this is what our trend looks like right now. So there is a good possibility we're gonna reject here and move to the downside. Okay, now to this video created by the quant team. Pay attention. The current form of money that we have today is obsolete. We've been using the same system for, for centuries. What we need is a new form of money that is fit for the future. We believe the blockchain technology is the future of finance, bringing trust and transparency to any transaction. In payments, its programmability allows banks and payment firms to innovate for their customers. While in capital markets, tokenization of all kinds of asset classes is connecting issuers to deep pools of entirely new investors. The impact of blockchain to finance is actually just as big as the impact of the internet to society. It really is transformative and changing the entire underlying architecture and the infrastructure of what we use today. Blockchain allows us to have smart money. Smart money allows us to program new types of logic, new types of functionality into money to do things that is really fit for purpose for the 21st century. But there's a problem. Blockchain is often costly and complex to implement properly. And most enterprises lack the specialist knowledge required. Each of the blockchain technologies is really complicated and it's quite a niche skill, right? They were only invented a few years ago. There's not millions of developers that know this. It's a new nascent technology that's hugely transformative, but difficult to integrate and difficult to bring into any financial institution. Its usefulness is undermined by a lack of common standards, the inability of assets deployed on one blockchain to run on another, and the fact that bridges between networks and poorly written smart contracts can be exploited. I found that Quant, with the vision of really changing the entire architecture of our financial system, the pain points that everyone faced with blockchain technology was a barrier to its adoption. And so we set out very early on to remove all the friction, change all the perceptions of blockchain and make it easy to integrate into any corporate or enterprise system. Until now, we've been applying our expertise in standards, interoperability and secure smart contracts to a few transformational projects. We've worked on national infrastructure in Italy, a cross-border payments network in Latin America, and most recently on Project Rosalind. Project Rosalind is our collaboration with the Bank of England and the Bank of International Settlement to understand and test with the industry what a retail central bank digital currency looks like. On the infrastructure side, we hosted the blockchain. We built the smart contracts, we expose smart contracts to a kind of a back-end API, so this is the technical work. And we're also involved in kind of building the requirements, right? So we spent a lot of time in workshops with all of the other folks in the project, building out how should this work. So there's a lot of detail in that. So in terms of participation, we put a lot of expertise into the project, we put a lot of experience into the project, and then we did all the technical work as well. What we learned was there's a way we can make money, a digital pound, for example, smart. We saw firsthand Participants like the Central Bank of Canada, Amazon, Barclays, MasterCard use this innovative escrow technology that we built to create new types of payments and new types of flows. We're proud to announce that the same interoperable technology, the same expertise in blockchain and secure smart contracts, the same commitment to security and resilience that has underpinned all of our work to date is now available to anyone with the launch of Overledger platform. We're launching Overledger platform as the enterprise standard for building on blockchain. We've taken all the experience and work that we've done for the Bank of England, Bank of International Settlement, and opened that up for the rest of the industry to use. By using Overledger between their technology and the blockchains, They've got a standardized API layer that translates all of the messages that are needed, which means that people can build faster, they can build more securely, they can build without hiring external developers, they can use their existing in-house developers. And not only that, they can connect their existing technologies. So rather than building a whole new platform, take the platform you've got and build a blockchain module for it using Overledger. You could get to market three, six, nine times faster, depending on your use case. Blockchain projects need this kind of technology. 
It makes the projects faster, it makes them cheaper, and it makes them last a lot longer once they're built. So Overledger platform is just a massive enabler. Overledger is a game changer because it allows people to connect to blockchains without knowing anything about them. We have all of our APIs in a business language, so you don't have to have any expertise in blockchain to be able to connect to them. It just makes it super easy and super simple. It's our way of creating mass adoption of the technology. It's an enterprise way to access this new innovative technology without having all the friction and the barriers and the challenges that come with it. Overledger platform is simple, trusted and future-proof. It's available today from our website. Next, let's check out the headlines for QNT today. Buy QNT before it is too late. QNT, ISO TC307, the Comprehensive Guide to Global Blockchain Standardization. One of the founders of ISO TC307 committee was Gilbert Verdian, the CEO of Quant Network. So guys, one of the main ISOs, that is the Guide to Global Blockchain Standardization, was created by none other than Gilbert Verdian, the CEO of QNT. That is why, this is another big reason why I think that QNT has such a bright future ahead because it is just stacked. It is stacked on its utility, its use case. The creator alone has a stacked background. Its utilization, its popularity, the very, very low supply and the very, very high demand. All these things go into making a great project to invest into. Overledger, which the Overledger is QNT. Quant Network is the Overledger. Overledger combined with SATP. SATP means Secure Asset Transfer Protocol. So Overledger combined with Secure Asset Transfer Protocol, QNT will be the key player in the new banking network. All the road to QNT. Well, if you didn't know already what QNT really is and what it does and how it's so revolutionary, you do now, okay? Because that video lays it out perfectly. I couldn't do any better explaining it myself. Guys, I'm telling you, you do not want to miss out on QNT. Buy QNT while it is still at a low price. You may look at it at $115 price and be like, dude, you're crazy. That is not a cheap price. There's way cheaper cryptos. But I'm telling you, for what QNT is going to be doing and the price it's going to be sitting at in the future, $115 is a steal. And you should get it while you still can at this price. It's not going to be here for very much longer. But I'm not a financial advisor, so make your own educated decisions when it comes to investing into cryptocurrency. And let me know down in the comments if you guys hold any QNT, how many you hold, and what you think the future looks like for QNT. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my future videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.